my hands a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me tell you something. I just come from working out. And I'm 78 years old. And I want to get a message across to you people today. I know it's Senior Celebration Week. But about 11 years ago, I tore an Achilles. And I was in a full cast for a month and then a half cast for another month and did my therapy. And then I went fishing with one of my grandsons. I have eight of them. And uh, I stumbled over a curb. I didn't know his dad had put it in the driveway and I retoured. They put me back in a cast for another month, a full cast and another cast, and then of course the therapy again. I started working out very diligently because it took me two and a half years before I could stand on my toes. That's how bad I tore it. And I want to tell you, I learned a lesson because about two, two years after that, I had found out I was a diabetic too. And I had elevated sugar and I had to change my diet and live a little bit differently. And uh, about three years after that, I had open heart surgery, which had been six years ago. Now I was 72 and working out and had no problems. And my wife knew I was going in for a physical. And she said, why don't you get a picture of your heart? So I talked to my doctor, he said, your heart's strong. You don't have to worry about that. You don't need a picture. I said, Doc, I don't care what it costs. I want to get a picture of my heart. I said, I'm German. I eat everything I shouldn't eat. Uh, fried foods, liver sausage, blood sausage, head cheese, everything like that. So I said, I just want to get a picture of it. He said, OK. So anyway, I was going down to Florida at Christmas with my grandkids and my children uh, for our 50th anniversary at Disneyland. Disney World. And uh, I had this done on a Tuesday. We were supposed to leave on Sunday. And a cardiac ass taken, and all of a sudden, my cardiologist says, You're not going to Florida. And I said, What's the matter? And she said, Well, you got three arteries 90% blocked and one 80% blocked. Whatever made me go there was only because my wife suggested it and because I got all these bad habits. So I was operated on Thursday morning, and Christmas was the following Wednesday, and I was home by Monday, and all the kids came to see me and so forth. And my surgeon was Dr. Pajunas. And he said to me, you know, he said, you got the best of both worlds. He said, uh, you got a new heart, no damage, and he said, you ought to last another 25 years. He said, you got <laughs> I was 72, and he, I said to him, Doc, let me ask you something. I got a new heart. I'm not worried about that. But what about my pancreas, my liver, my kidneys, and, and all the stuff I've abused all my life? And he kind of laughed at, at me and so forth. But uh, I'm trying to get a message to you because as you get older, you make excuses for yourself. You put things off. And there's one thing I would say to each and every one of you, if you're able to, exercise. Exercise is the best thing you can do. And I diligently try to work out anywhere from three to four times a week for an hour and a half each day. I just came from the workout this morning, and I'll probably work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. And uh, I know that's what keeps me going. And I'm very, very fortunate to have the health I've got, I feel very good, and I know the exercise part of it is what made it like that. So, I've had a wonderful thing happen to me. I was voted into the Hall of Fame. I grew up. In I grew up across the river in a little town called Noathens, Illinois.